Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. If you watched the last video, which was the uh, Cafe Caramel Coffee, part of our coffee bar collection that we're doing, three soaps, three different fragrances, three different designs. We made that yesterday, we cut it today, so if it looks like I'm wearing the same shirt and the same thing is going on, it's because I am wearing the same shirt, because it's the same day. If you watched the last video, all three of our fragrances come from Nature's Garden. If you look right there, that little image right there, that's what influenced our design of the soap bar. So we are gonna do not necessarily an ombre, but just a layered multicolor soap. Go back and watch the last video and you'll see a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about. Some might help make sense before you watch this video. So all three of these coffee fragrances have a lot of vanilla in them. Uh, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna brown out the soap. Vanilla always causes your soap. In my opinion, in our soap, vanilla always causes it to darken. So with the coffee, it's gonna to go to a, like a chocolate brown or a light brown. So since we're designing coffee bar soaps, why not just let it turn brown on its own and have that natural color just be the color of the soap. So we're back, we're doing French vanilla. Bob's watching up there. Nuggets running about like she does. Hi, baby. <laughs> if you guys have watched my soap videos before, my intro is going to be a little boring. I apologize for that, but we're picking up new people all the time. Speaking of which, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, click all the buttons, like, subscribe, share, thumbs up, tell a stranger. We're doing really well. I'm, I'm super happy everybody's spreading the word and we're, we're kind of growing as a channel already, which is crazy to me, but I love it. It's really cool. Tell everybody, write us about. Can't remember what I was saying. When you can't remember what you're saying, just start making soap. Oh, video intro. It might be a little boring if you're coming back to watch more. If you're new, you might not know anything about what we do and how we do it. I'm gonna go through it all again. You can skip over if you want. I never say the same thing twice, so you might pick up something else. I don't know, probably not. Okay guys, so for the noobs in the room, our base for all of our soap is olive oil, coconut oil. I don't know why I did that. Goat milk from our ladies, frozen into cubes, one ice cube tray well is about one ounce milk by weight for us and lye and every batch gets sodium lactate which is a plant sugar which we use as a hardener we have measuring things container -y things we already talked about the fragrance oil french vanilla coffee from nature's garden i was going to give you guys the notes on this top notes mid notes base notes or bottom notes for some reason they actually don't have it listed on their website they usually do a really good job of having everything out there so i don't know let's do this it's french it's vanilla it's coffee. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> so normally they list those out and I tell you, but they don't have them there, so I can't. So olive oil, coconut oil, goat's milk, lye, ice bath. Because we do cold process soap with goat's milk, when you pour lye into your milk cubes, it's gonna generate heat and that heat will discolor. It'll take this from a nice white to a brown. But since we're doing a coffee bar, we want it to be brown, so let it do what it's gonna do. This is our ice bath, because if my brain's not working right and I'm taking too long to get whatever else done, I don't want the milk cubes sitting in the lye and getting too hot, because once it's melted down, it's still gonna be pumping out heat. I'll just set the container in here and let it slow down the heating process. So what we're gonna use for to whiten, since we're gonna do layers, we're gonna let the bottom be whatever comes out, and then we'll add a little bit of white to each layer to give us that uh, ombre or layered look. So we use titanium dioxide for our white. Like I said in my last video, thank you guys for buying so much soap. So now we're like big batch and stuff so we're going to use the big tub those are all lies that's not a lie i always do my cubes in here we're going to start with milk and lye first because it takes a really long time for the cubes to melt into liquid form which is what we need so i start with that it at least gives it a little bit of a head start lie that takes forever olive oil coconut oil i don't know why i'm doing it off camera Dun -dun -dun. And while that's in the microwave, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Surprisingly, I found that the microwave is the most efficient means for warming the oil to the perfect temperature. I don't know. I tried it on the stove when I started originally, and it was just, it was uncontrollable. It was too uncontrollable. The burner would kick on and kick off and too hot, too cold. My first batch of soap was, it was terrible. It turned out great, but it didn't make very well, if that makes sense. Nothing was working properly. Anywho. Next, sodium lactate. And again, that's to harden the bar. So let me talk through before I mix this. 
because like I always say, this is the point of no return. Once the oil goes into the lye, you're gonna start making soap. So make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you have everything planned out in your brain. I'm never 100% planned out. That's probably just me. So I'm gonna separate this off into four batches, 24 ounces each. Then we will add a little bit of titanium dioxide to each container in equal amounts so that each layer will be just a tiny bit lighter. Okay, so this is my thinking face. I think I got this. We'll see, could go sideways. One never knows. And if you have to, please use the restroom before you begin this step. Just kidding. So we have one, two, three of these containers and I'm gonna have to use one of these little guys. Having trouble focusing today, you might be able to tell. These hold 28 up to here, but if I try to blend in that, it's gonna, it's gonna splash everywhere. I don't really wanna do that. Actually, I'm only gonna need three. So I'm gonna need three of these. I have to wash that one before I can use it uh, because one of our layers is just going to stay natural. I have not tried to do this in a double batch yet. So fingers crossed. Always pour onto your spoon so it doesn't splash into the liquid. Liquid splashing on liquid. But you end up with stuff in your eyes. Safety third. We're going to hit this with their handy dandy stick blender. <laughs> super, super, super light trace. Because I'm going to have to let every single layer set up just a little bit before I can pour the next layer on top. Otherwise, it'll penetrate through the layer and then you'll have a mess instead of layers. So, these come from the dollar store and they all have a different weight. These big tubs come from Sam's Club and they are all perfectly the same weight. I have erred. Y'all saw what I did. Nobody said a thing. Nobody was like, stop, stop. Well, guess what? I forgot to add more oil. I have no time for mistakes with this batch. Zero. It was setting up on me pretty good when I made the test batch. I'm not sure you can see how that's changing colors or not. Even if I pull you in closer. Um, in the last video, I tried, to, I tried to show it and it's just not. Didn't show up on the camera really well. We have a long way to go, y'all, before layer four gets poured in there. Eh, 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 just making errors all over the board. It's like musical chairs. Looking like a rookie. I need to weigh this up. I'm basically just gonna hammer this with the stick blender until it's almost pudding. Okay, I whipped this hard because all of this batch is turning into soap at the exact same rate. So since this is the bottom layer, I wanted to move it along. So this is really far ahead of these as far as turning into soap goes. So we're just gonna split this evenly amongst the two molds. I was thinking the wrong number and I overshot that. Yeah, I got a little bit too thick. When you're doing layers like this, what I want is a very smooth line between each layer. And when you're trying to whip it thick, I went a little too far on that one. So this goes really sideways and we'll just end up with, yeah, those are thickening up pretty fast. Okay, so that's that layer. Let's grab this guy next. Oh, that's not good. Sometimes if you just spoon whip it a little bit, you can bring it back to slow it down. So same thing, I'm gonna split this in half. Y'all, I'm just telling you right now, this is going sideways in a hurry. Now there's not much difference in the color that you can see on the camera, but when it cures out, it's gonna be varying degrees of brown to light brown to as close to white as I can get it. Okay, batch number two. Was a half. So now we're gonna double the amount of TD in this one. Yeah, I hate to even stick this blender in there, man. That is just gonna be a pudding mess. Oh. Hope y'all are enjoying the train wreck that this is becoming. You can laugh at me in the comments. I think I small backed it last time, so I don't know. Keep calm and pour on. Well, I might get it in the molds, oh, but it might not be what I want. However, it will still be soap and it will still smell nice. So that's always a plus. Next time I'll just add my oil to each layer. You see me over here dying, y'all. Okay.
This is the only layer that doesn't have to be pretty. I mean, we're gonna make it pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty when I pour it. I think you need more friends. <sighs> like I said, keep calm and pour on. It's still gonna turn into soap. It can either do it in your dish or it can do it in your mold. So pound it out, something will happen. It'll still be sellable soap. It'll still be pretty, just maybe not as pretty. Wow, did that go sideways? What did we learn? I will still sp split my batch into four bowls, but I will not add the oil until right before I stick blend it and pour it in the mold. That way it's not acting on the soap and causing it to speed up. That'll give me extra time between each layer so I can get a nice smooth pour. Okay, I'll let this set up and then we'll uh, whip it up and we'll dress the top. Okay, well, welcome back to the uh, most amount of epic sideways soap making show or something just like yesterday's soap. If you We'll go back and watch that video. We're just gonna spoon whip this up. So we're gonna do fresh ground coffee. This is dark French roast Arabica coffee or Arabica. I don't know how to say it. Y'all tell me. And then we'll do coffee beans down the top. I don't know, would you spam? No. <laughs> well, that wasn't bad. Okay, so sprinkle. Sprinkle with love. Y'all, I can't sing, so. I'd be able to see this easier if my big meaty hand wasn't in the way. Or my big stupid hat. I'll be able to see this more easily if I'm not blocking the camera. So, you can see my lines on my molds here. Those are basically my cut marks when I go to cut the soaps. So I want the little bean right in the middle of that line. Or right in the gap, right in the space. So yeah, there's the little coffee beans. See the little bean sticking up on there? And yes, it's a dark French roast Arabica bean because that's what I drink. And yeah, I grind my own coffee because it's better that way. If you don't grind your own coffee at home, do it. Because it's better, more better, more better. That's it. That's a pretty simple soap. Could have been a lot easier if I used my brain a little bit and thought about not throwing all that oil in there right in the get-go. Next time I know, get smarter. That's done. Uh, I'll bring you back tomorrow. We'll cut it. And then we have one more to do. It's my favorite designs. I'm looking forward to making that. I'm only going to do a single batch of that because that's all the oil I have left. That'll be soap number three and then and then we'll be done with the uh, coffee bar. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I want to say it's been 24 hours since we made the French vanilla soap, but it's been more like 60. Things happen. We get busy around here. We had baby goats. That'll be the next video. Teaser if you're watching, Muffin had her babies. It was my birthday weekend, so it's fine. Should have zero issues cutting it the way it is now. Just pop it up and get to cutting it so you can see the final result there. Remember, this is soap number two out of the three bar collection. You can see three very or four very distinct layers. However, I don't know if it's gonna cure out that way. So one, two, three, four. And you can see this top layer is gonna look like this already. This is why we practice. <laughs> That's actually really cool like that. I like that dark outside, but it's gonna cure out. It'll be, it'll all go to dark brown. So this is what 60 hours would look like on a cure. So if I had cut this 24 hours later, the whole thing would look like this on the outside. So if you remember the marks on the form, we put the coffee bean in between those marks and then we're cutting on the mark, which puts us right between the beans. That one's actually cured a little more. I think I'm gonna like it when it, when it cures out. This is batch two, it should be exactly the same. It smells pretty amazing too. 
And actually for as fast as that was setting up on me, it, uh, it's still a little tacky. Yep, same result. That might turn out really cool, guys. I hope so, that's what I was going for. Four separate layers. Okay, let me find a good one here. Okay, guys, come down here. I'll be too loud though. Here's the original. What happened was when I got here, this wasn't gonna get any whiter no matter how much white I put into it because this layer and this layer should be two different colors. So what I had to do was go back and cut that quantity in half. So by the time I got to the top, it would still have a little bit of color change. And now you can see four very distinct layers. So I'm interested to see when this cures out how much different they are. I put nothing in this layer and then I put half a teaspoon and then one teaspoon and then a teaspoon and a half of titanium dioxide. Maybe it's, it might not be showing up on the camera, but I can clearly see four distinct layers. So we have one bar to go. So make sure you come back for that. If you subscribe and click the bell, you'll get notified when I post a video. So come back for bar number three. Peace out. That is all. Enjoy the soaps. Bye.